Hey guys, welcome back to ATL QA Labs. Uh, today we will talk about very basic but yet very powerful and very important uh, aspect or uh, feature of uh, Unix and Linux system. So today we will talk about uh, the security, right? So how uh, since Unix is a multi-user operating system and multiple users are working simultaneously on the system. So it is very important that, you know, uh, uh, our files and our data is uh, kept uh, in very secured manner so that other users uh, cannot manipulate it or cannot misuse it, right? So on the same aspect, uh, we will uh, uh, talk about, we will try to understand how the security uh, within the Unix system is built and uh, and uh, various uh, different, you know, um, other aspect of uh, the Unix uh, security system, right? So uh, quickly, as part of Agenda, we are going to understand the output of ls-lrt and uh, what is the output of ls-lrt that we are going to see. And then we are going to discuss each and every details that is coming out of this output, right? And then second one, authorization labels. So authorization level, uh, uh, we will cover the ownership uh, of a particular file and then permissions uh, associated with uh, those uh, uh, files, right? And we will, and after that, we will understand uh, understanding the permission in detail, right? So we will uh, try to cover uh, read, write, execute permission on the file and directory level. And then how do we change the file permission? Uh, once the file is created, if there is a need, right? And uh, and the last topic that we are going to cover is uh, about the changing default permission of the file, right? So how do we make sure that, you know, whenever we create a file, it has a consistent permission or based on our requirement, right? So we will cover all these topics. So let's quickly uh, go to uh, cover, you know, uh, what we wanted to cover at patch up this agenda. So understanding the LS LRT output, right? Let me go to straight back to terminal and then see what we are talking about. All right. So let me do one thing and let me remove this file first. No, I think RM hyphen R RF, I think this will work. I need to change the permission maybe. Right, F and RF, and then file name. All right, I think it's clear now. See, there's no file. Yeah. So let me quickly create a empty file, the ordinary file I'm going to create. So I will say file one dot txt, and then I will create one directory file also. So I will say my dir. Okay. Sorry, I think mk it should be. All right. Now, let's see if these two files are created. I try to create one uh, ordinary file and one directory file. Okay. So now we will try to understand what these permissions are now. So first of all, uh, we will analyze what is the output of LSLRT in terms of file. And then after that, we will try to see what is the permission of what is the permission of the directory. So this is the text file okay text file means ordinary file ordinary file so we will uh, try to understand bit by bit right everything so in this you see uh, the very first character of this output is hyphen if it is a if it is ordinary file and in case of directory the very first character of this output is d okay d means it is a directory hyphen is it is a ordinary file right and then the second one is, uh, okay, so similarly, we have other uh, uh, type also. Let's say if it is a character file, in this case, we do not have character uh, device file, right? So if it is a character device file, then it will be starting with C. And if it is a block special file, then it will be B, starting with B, right? So that is what I think I have covered here. Maybe probably I can show you right here. You see here, right? The hyphen represents an ordinary file. 
D represents a directory, C represents a character device file and B represents a block device file, right? This is about the first uh, character, alright? Now, this is talking about the next three character indicates the user permission, okay? So, when I say user permission, let me go here. So, this one, R, W, hyphen, alright? So, let me do one thing. Let me give the full permission first. And then we will talk about it. CH mode, seven. Don't worry about CH mode. I will cover it later. Point of uh, within the same video. So don't worry for now. My idea is intention is just to show you, right? So the, it is saying that next three characters are the permission for the user. Okay. So uh, so next three is permission about the user, and remaining next three characters after this, these are related to the group. And the last three characters are relate permissions related to other or rest of the world. Okay, so a file is essentially created by someone, right? So the person who is created, he has read, write, and execute permission. For example, in this case, and this particular user who has created obviously belongs to a certain group. So group is nothing but the set of users. And uh, these groups are defined based on the business need, right? So one person can be a member of multiple group, for example, or maybe one person is a, uh, uh, so for that particular group, right? So mem uh, the member, so let's say this user belongs to a particular group and his group is having all read, write, execute permission, means any user within that group have read, write, execute all the permission, okay? And then uh, this permission talks about the rest of the world. So even in this case, rest of the world, I mean the people who are outside the group, they also have the full permission, read, write, and execute permission, right? This is why because I have granted it just now, right? So because I am the creator of the file, I can grant the permission to anyone over here, okay? So now let let just discuss it, okay? All right? So let me go here. So what it says that first three, uh, first of these three indicates whether the user has read permission, right? First of, uh, first of these three, right? So let's see if this is R, which means it is having the read permission. It is W, which means it has the right permission. And this one is execute permission, okay? If something like this, you see here, I'm not taking example, I can see here, right? So dash, dash means it doesn't have permission, yeah? So in this case, if you see here, other doesn't have write permission on the particular file, right? So this is what it meant, all right? Now we understood that first three are related to user, next three are related to the group, and then last three are related to other, okay? Now we will try to understand what does it mean for read permission, and what does it mean for write permission, what is means about uh, execute permission okay so let me quickly do one thing let me um, let me set the permission all right I just want to make sure I just demo it to you all right guy so uh, in this file I think nothing is there so let me write something all right okay it is saying that you cannot write anything because you doesn't have any write permission. You see, only read permission is there. So if there is any content inside, I should be able to see, but unfortunately there is no content inside, right? Let me try to write some content and then after that I will show you. All right. So let me see. I want to write something in this file. So this is line one. This is line two, this is line three, something like that, all right? Now, if I say, you see, this is the output. But since this particular file have only read permission, I cannot really, uh, okay, so now I have given just now here permission, right? 777, which means read, write, execute all the permission. But then let me try to restrict the permission to only read permission okay 
now you see sorry guys okay all right so now you see this particular file ordinary file is having only read permission which means i can do cat on this i can do but if i need to edit something or append something on this particular file it will say file permission uh, not allowed something like that it will say so cat all right it is saying that permission denied all right why it is saying permission denied because it has only read permission and execute permission is also uh, in this case on the text file or normal ordinary file execute permission doesn't make any sense it means only uh, when uh, we have the executable file which means you have that file is having some kind of program right so if you need to run executable file then per execute permission is important for that right so let me try to grant all the permission for file all right now you see read write execute permission is given i think this is wrongly created file all right so if i say now cat cat if i want to write something right before that i was getting error but now i will be able to write something this is f right okay now if i say file cat then i should be able to see this okay what happened uh, it has overwritten that's fine i mean if i use the double angular bracket then it will have you know appended that but now since it is overwritten that is fine doesn't make any uh, that doesn't matter right so this is how the read write and execute permission work on a ordinary file now we will see uh, what does it mean when i say read write and execute permission for the directory so let me remove this so that will not have any confusion okay now let me give the permission to the directory all right so i have given only read permission see directory only read permission to user user means me right who has created it now so now if uh, read permission means uh, okay i think before that i should say 777 and uh, i should just go inside create some content content sorry so let's say touch a b and c okay i have created three different file here ordinary file all right now let me just restrict the permission to read only to this particular file so if we see here we have only read file right which means let me see if i can do anything inside this file read permission means i should be able to see the con do the uh, you know i can just uh, display the content all right so you see that it says that there is no permission uh, for example if i say ls hyphen lrt my dir what it is giving is it is giving a b c whatever these files are there you see here so this is actually able to display but at the same time it is saying that you do not have any permission uh, write and execute permission on this particular directory okay so let me give next level of permission ch mode and then i will give uh, 600 and uh, my dir now what i have given is i have given read and write permission for this particular directory so write means i should be able to write something all right means i should be able to create some uh, files or some folders right so i should be able to na navigate uh, no i should not be able to navigate basically if i am there inside then i should be able to create something all right so let me try to navigate if i am nav able to navigate to that file see it is saying permission denied rather than that 
let me try to do one thing let me try to give the permission like 5 all right and let me see what can i do so if i have given read and execute permission write is dash which means uh, hyphen which means doesn't have the right permission it this directory has user is having read and execute permission let me try to navigate now i am able to successfully navigate inside okay but since I do not have the right permission, let's try if I will be able to create some content or not, right? So let me try to see, touch, let me create F, some file, okay? It says that the permission denied, which means you cannot actually create any content in this file because you do not have any right permission. So read means you should be able to say ls. All right, on that particular directory, which means you should be able to see the content inside the directory. LS. <coughs> Sorry, read. Write means you should be able to create, you know, any other directory or any other uh, text file inside that particular uh, directory. And execute means you should be able to navigate to that particular that particular directory for example in this case I have read and execute permission that's why I was able to go inside this directory but even if I was able to go inside the directory I was not able to create the file when it right see it was permission issue so this is all about the file permissioning guys okay uh, so what I was talking about is uh, we have the three groups right for example, I will just try to do it. Okay. Okay. So, the first one, first three characters are for user. Next three characters are for group and the remaining three are for, for uh, you know, rest of the world. Alright. So, this is how it works. Okay. And uh, so, let me uh, see if... We are okay with that. So this is for user and uh, all right. I think we have covered all of them similarly. All right, guys. And uh, this is what I was talking about, guys. Okay. So after the, you know, when I upload this video, I will uh, try to put this information. This is really very, very information. And I think um, uh, most important interview question that people will ask you what does it mean when you say execute permission on directory and uh, execute permission on a particular ordinary file right so how does it matter and what what do you mean by that right so the clear explanation that i have uh, you know uh, written here and the same i have explained also i think this is uh, there will be multiple you know combination and permutation kind of questions that can be asked so it is very important that you remember this table right so having the only ordinary file having only read only permission what does it mean it's the cat right an ordinary file having only write permission which means you can append the file you can do anything uh, you know uh, removal or anything in, in that particular file similarly it has given for so these are the things very important thing that you have to keep in mind right and um, what else i have told user permission group and uh, other permission we have covered right the three three characters for each of the three now uh, we will uh, try to understand the I think I explained the permission before but uh, agenda is let me create one file okay file one dot txt something like that I created now all right guys so okay we have now so we will try to analyze the output of ls hyphen lrt okay so this is uh, the first one as i explained to you this is this is de denoting what kind of file it is the remaining nine characters are related to permission and three are for user next three are for group and remaining three are for read write and execute for uh, the rest of the world okay now so and after that you know uh, this is we understood now this particular field is the link okay so how many links are there that it will denote 
okay so when you create uh, there are soft link and hard link in um, in unix so this is what it is now let me just follow the number of link associated with the file right so that is what and then uh, this one is the owner uh, that who has created this file right for example my username is also ubuntu and since this is my this uh, terminal is there on my machine right so even the group is ubuntu right so but normally it is uh, username and this will be your group name from which group you are belonging right so this is the group so this is called gid and this is uid user identification um, gid and okay uid of that particular file and then uh, this is the size of the file all right because since this is the directory and uh, i have created some more uh, file inside that directory right so that's why it is showing you this is the 100 byte file so this is always in byte and then uh, this is the date so date is like uh, month day and then you have uh, hour and uh, minute yeah and then this is the file name all right guys i think hope you understand so uh, most important thing is the security right security is very important so you can give the security based on your need um, uh, of your project need uh, but most importantly this is how the security is by default okay so read write for user and read write read write for your group because your group might need it might need it because you belongs to the share the same group means they should be also able to write something on that particular right but anyways it is uh, you can also and the for the rest of the world it is only um, write permission uh, sorry read permission they cannot execute or they cannot write on that particular they can only see the content of the file right content of the file so this is how it is now what we will uh, see is we have another thing i think uh, all right guys i think you know um, what i will do is um, try to cover uh, all this part and video is little lengthy now what i will try to do is i will have to this this is about all about security okay security uh, of the file right the permissioning uh, in the next video i am trying to cover what is uh, you know how can we uh, change the permission right uh, of a particular file because there might be the cases where uh, we might need to share the file with other you know uh, people also uh, within the group we have to give the high, high level permission and also the people who are not you know within your group for example uh, the last uh, this one this group right read write execute whatever we have given for example here we have given write and there is no permission for write and execute only read permission we have given to the rest of the world right so what we will do is we will try to uh, cover how we can give the higher level of permission to them and there are you know two ways that uh, we can use that and we will also that will be a little a smaller video but then i will try to cover uh, that in that video i think that will be helpful so for now i think guys we have covered uh, this very important uh, aspect of unix and uh, try to remember this particular table it is very helpful for interview purpose also and uh, you should uh, always know that you know what is um, how the unix uh, maintains the security right so that's very important thing so in this video i think uh, we are done uh, i will try to cover the permission changing permission and uh, you know a default permission of a file and other things in a separate video that will not be lengthy but uh, yeah i will try to cover it thank you guys thank you for watching my uh, this video i hope this is informative to you and um, see you in the next video bye